deep beneath the cover of another perfect wonder where we slow, what is slow. Privately the body by the world so undecided and there's no way to go. Guys, pick one over those. What's up, guys? Bitcoin Overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. I overdose, so you guys don't have to. Go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. Your daily dose of crypto, buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. This is not any financial advice, but guys, buy Bitcoin and show. Go follow me or hit that subscribe button right down below. Is what I meant to say. Hit that notification bell right next to that, guys, to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto pumps, dumps, other news kind of related stuff to Bitcoin guys. What are we going to be taking a look at today? There's really only two things that I've really noticed in this market that has not happened yet. And guys, Bitcoin is one of the kings. I mean, it is the mover guys, mover, shaker and producer. We all know it. We all see it every day. I feel like it's raining quite a bit outside. So let me close my window. Actually, you know what? It'll be fine. It's a nice breeze. No, but, uh, Guys, so we have like, you know, there's like really a lot going on today. Price movement, again, is still chilling in that same area that it has been the last couple of days. But we got a green day, which we haven't really had for a long time. Um, I mean, if you look the last five, six days, really seven days almost. So, you know, maybe we're just going to get the eternal range here. It looks like it just wants to stay put for now, guys. Maybe consolidate a little bit further into that resistance and then we're going to really find out what bitcoin is going to want to do um i've been saying this for a couple days but you know the more we like consolidate and take our time with this the more likely we are to break to the upside uh i mean we saw quite a bit of a dump this morning but uh you know it looks like right as that day closed like we were just ready to go and you know, it's kind of nice to see this kind of double bottom form in Bitcoin. We haven't really seen that for a while. Usually you just get one dump and then it either continues to slowly rise or, you know, it doesn't really make any surefire decisions. We got some volume to back this up, which is super nice. I think we're going to see continuation of this over into the nighttime period, nighttime hours tonight. But guys, like from what I can tell you right now, this is still not the decision maker but I think bears are getting pretty lonely. I mean, they're they're starting to sell. They're starting not to be able, like they're kind of getting exhausted of selling, and they've been so like. I mean, even some of the bears on Twitter. You can talk about like Loop Poshi, Loop guys, uh, Loop. He has been saying two K since the top, and yeah, like he's been right about a lot of the calls so far this year. So I don't want to discount him completely. But the fact that we have not gotten below five. Five eight right now is really that number, guys. The longer we stay above that, the more bullish I'm gonna get. I know that for a fact. And guys, it's important to kind of know emotion in here, like why people are trading the way that they do. And I think this is a potentially, you know, finding a real bottom in this market. And the fact that we just won't go lower, guys, it's very, very promising. Now, I think a lot of people are exhausted both ways. I think the buyers had such a fucking run last year that a lot of the people who are in crypto are already in crypto to stay and they're not buying a lot here. They're also not buying, like they're not really selling here either, you know, so that's kind of just exhausted on both sides. That's what kind of why we've been in this whole trade, no trade zone or trade range for a really long time. So what am I looking at guys? What have I really seen pop today? Well, we're going to be taking a look at Sia coin guys. Sia coin had a, uh, pretty big pump this morning and then we also got ethereum to look at as well so i'll keep both of those up but uh you know from from an overall bitcoin standpoint guys altcoins were probably safe to buy or they probably are getting safe to buy just because it looks like we will be trading in this range for a long time now i like bitcoin going sideways i've been telling you guys this for a little while now but you know it lets the altcoins get breathe you know and it really helps market growth on a slower scale guys Last year, we saw that rise from 10K to 20K so quickly. We just don't really need that. So we're still chilling at the 220 billion range, guys. Way below a trillion. So we are still in the early days of this of this whole market, guys. And then what? Bitcoin dominance chilling right above 51% right now. Almost 52. And, you know, I like that number above 50, guys. 
I, I'm okay with that number above 50 for as long as we need to. The market's going to need to take time. Now, what have we really seen today? Aurora, one of those again, guys. See a coin. Odyssey is back up. Now, Odyssey had a huge dump that I warned you guys about a couple days ago. It doesn't, it went a little bit higher than I thought. But, you know, like you see this just giant red candle here. And, you know, would you be buying here? I don't know. How much lower can it go? Guys, like 150 was when I told you guys to sell. So obviously, I'm not in this trade. I never was, but you know, it went below 150. You could have gotten it cheaper again. But, you know, do you buy up here? Probably not. I wonder how uh, ADA and XRP are doing. I feel like those are really the up in the air coins right now. Like XRP, we have not seen the continuous growth yet. Looks like we're kind of just chilling at like a random support line. Not really too much moving. Which means it might be a good time to buy. It might be a good time to sell. Uh, we don't know. But it looks very inorganic. We're probably just forming a second base, to be honest. Uh, you know, last time we saw that thing pump, guys, it took a week. So we might see it happen again this week. Who knows? Uh, Tether, you know, is not going to be doing well against Bitcoin today. Because Bitcoin's actually up. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. ADA, guys. Cardano is uh not moving at all oh my god not at all that's just uh kind of disappointing see i thought Ada was gonna be one of those like fast movers you know like relative to uh xrp but we haven't really seen much action yet so this might be a good time to buy too this hasn't broken out yet uh you know the way that we've been seeing this we see a double bottom form like a long ultraverted double bottom and then you see a quick pump so, you know, seeing that time and time again in the altcoin market led to Sia coin breaking out. And if you see this on Sia coin, and, you know, we'll find it in here. Uh, we had like a double bottom form, but it's kind of like a longer cup. So it's like, uh, it's not a double bottom per se, but there's like one bottom in, and then there's another bottom here. And then you kind of see it continue. And... I should have been buying this yesterday. I don't know why I didn't. I saw this kind of coming up to a to a T. You know, you can kind of see the cup and handle form right here. The longer cup and handle from 111 back down to 78, back up to 112. And a cup and handle is usually a pretty bullish sign from a, not only a crypto, but from stocks in general. So that's always like a nice thing to see. I guess if you see that ever happen and you try to catch the 90 bottom here, like you you just go lower from the top, you know, like maybe halfway down or whatever, 90. And then you can kind of see that like it was forming by itself. Now it looks like it's just taking off, which is a good thing. And then I saw Ethereum today went up like 17% against Bitcoin. I don't know how real that is. <laughs> Looking at it now. Uh, maybe it was like yesterday or two days ago. But it looks like it just went from 0.32 up to point. Uh, three five so i mean it's 17 percent or something like that I, don't, I haven't really heard much about ethereum unfortunately and i don't know what that is i don't know what that's all about it's not that really that irrelevant or that important but guys i'm sorry like my voice is raspy man i've been rapping i've been practicing all day uh want to do like a rap at some guy on twitter i think i'm just gonna like shit all over him and we're, we're gonna see what happens it might be interesting might also get shit posted to death, but it'll be fun. You get good attention. Um, but yeah, hot guys has not moved at all. 16, we're still chilling at that magic number right there. Uh, I was in fun the other night. We'll see. Ooh, that's down. It's down 30 sats for my entry. So that's pretty shitty, but I'm just going to hold. I'm not really too scared. We're going to probably get a cup and handle here. I'll probably be able to get out at like 260 and then I'll probably jump back in at 268 or something like that or two uh 240 we'll figure it out but anyways hopefully it pops soon i don't want to wait anymore mft one of those big winners today or the other day and you know it's starting to climb up again i know i'm interested i know i'm interested this is one of these will probably end up like see a coin you know it'll do that 132 drop back down to 118 and then we'll probably see this thing continue higher guys mft might be worth a lot someday so it's just something to watch uh you know keep an eye out for it. its mainframe coin or mainframe token uh from what else i can really see guys see a coin is the winner 
And, you know, we got a big loser today. Storage just keeps dumping, man. I don't know when this is ever going to go back up, but if it were to ever reach all-time highs, that's almost 20x up right now. That's a lot of percentage points that needs the game back. Aaron, this one looks pretty solid. Solid move upwards in the channel here. But yeah, if you guys have anything else, let me know in the comments down below. Sia Coin's really the big winner today. Uh, you know, it's good to see stuff pop and Bitcoin maintaining the most important key levels that it needs to. It's really all I care about, guys. Anyways, hopefully you can't hear that too much back there, but you guys have a great rest of your day. Hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, go over to my Twitter, hit follow, like some of my tweets, do something like that. And then also click that subscribe button because I'm doing a giveaway at 250. Uh, I don't really talk about it at the beginning like I should, but you guys hit that subscribe button. Do that notification bell right next to that. And I'll be giving away, I think, some HOT. Cause that is going to be the big winner this year. And I just want you guys to like know that I'm shilling the fuck out of that coin because I have a pretty big bag of it. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out. Buy the dip. Not any financial advice has been given in this episode, but please click that subscribe button. And then also, like I said, go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose. I think I'm getting up to almost 420 subs or followers, which is pretty nice, guys. After I break like that 500, I feel like it's going to go sky high. And you guys were the ones that brought me there. So peace out to you guys. Sometimes you got to work a little seeking ball a lot. Buy that dip. Uh, one Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Flipping those shit coins over the Bitcoins. Your daily dose, guys. Peace out. Buy that dip. For real.